my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Temperatures to Melt Ice versus Rate for Sun and Salt. So the temperature to melt ice is in degrees centigrade, zero, and this is equivalent to 273 Kelvin. And this temperature to melt ice, it's the melting point temperature, occurs at STP, which is standard temperature and pressure. So the pressure here for the melt ice at this temperature would be approximately one atmosphere, or one ATM. Salt, on the other hand, has a much higher melting temperature. Salt is made up of sodium chloride, and salt melts at a temperature of 801 degrees Celsius, and that is equivalent to 1,074 Kelvin, so we can see that its melting point temperature is in Kelvin many times greater than that of ice. And if we consider the sun, the sun can, of course, melt ice. On the surface of the sun, the temperature is approximately 6,000 Kelvin. And so we see that on the surface of the sun, both ice and salt would melt, but if we consider temperatures on the surface of the Earth and heat that emanates that comes from the Sun to heat a local region on the surface of Earth, the record temperature high was 55 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 328 Kelvin, and this occurred in Tunisia, Africa, and while certainly hot enough to melt ice, it was still not hot enough to melt salt. Salt can be used to melt ice, but the best method to do this is a combination of salt and heat. We see though that H2O and NaCl have very different chemical compositions, and hence both the chemical composition and the structure contribute to the vast differences in the melting point temperatures. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Temperatures to Melt Ice versus Rate for Sun and Salt.